Hi, this is Mike. I'm a camera engineer here at Panasonic. When considering a new equipment investment, making the smart choice can be stressful. It's your responsibility to select gear with the best performance at a price in your budget and accommodate future technologies even before we know what the next requirements might be. Now you may be thinking about updating some studio cameras. What if you could get some cameras in your budget today that can accommodate 4K in the future? Panasonic has taken a novel approach to imaging that can deliver excellent HD performance today and 4K capability for the future at a cost in line with expectations for today's HD studio and control rooms. And we do this by utilizing large format imagers. So then, what does a modern system camera need to meet the requirements for today's planned upgradable studios? It should have a standard B4 lens mount that allows the use of the existing two-thirds inch lens, 4K resolution, wide dynamic range, broad color space, good sensitivity and SN ratio, as well as mobility, and a roadmap for continued improvements to the system. The obvious design approach would be a studio camera utilizing a three-chip sensor system as with HD, but with 4K resolution on all three chips. In other words, 3840 by 2160 resolution on all three sensors. Will there be any concerns with this approach? Maybe. For the time being, sensor manufacturing performance is not ready to supply three-chip 4K systems for a large market. But there is a physical limitation. For a two-thirds inch optical system that cannot be overcome. Let's discuss these issues one by one. For a full 4K resolution sensor, we need 3840 by 2160 photosites, or 8.3 million photosites on the same imager as with HD. The individual photosites will therefore be a quarter of the size as those found in an HD imager. With this smaller pixel, we can expect the following. Number one, reduced sensitivity. Number two, reduced dynamic range. Number three, defocusing as the iris is closed. First, sensitivity. Total light energy on the entire two-thirds inch sensor surface is the same. But because of higher resolution, the energy collected at each photosite is going to be smaller. Thus, the sensitivity of the imager will be reduced. Second, dynamic range. A larger photosite also includes a larger charge well, so as photons are converted to charge the larger photosite can hold more electrons before becoming saturated. The higher the saturation or clip point, the wider the dynamic range. A big bucket holds more water before it overflows. Preparing for a high dynamic range or HDR future may be every bit as important as preparing for 4K. To deliver HDR imagery, the dynamic range of the imager is therefore more critical than ever before. The third issue is defocusing with closed iris. It is a little difficult to understand as it has to do with the wave properties of light. In physics, we learned that photons have the characteristics of both wave and particle. Since the photons are wave-like and the enter through a narrow iris's aperture, diffraction will occur as the iris is closed and the waves interfere with one another, causing a phenomenon like light leakage. Normally, when the iris is closed, the depth of field increases and clear focus can still be obtained, but with the increased resolution, a small aperture also results in defocusing because of the small target provided by the photoreceptors coupled with the diffraction. How might we solve all of these issues? Improving sensor performance is always a manufacturer's responsibility. Panasonic 
is continuously trying to improve the sensor performance regardless of the sensor size. And I'm confident we will be able to approach the sensitivity and dynamic range in 4K eventually. But the defocusing with its closed iris issue is a physics problem. It can never be solved to improve the sensor performance. So Panasonic took another approach to accommodate two-thirds inch optics with 4K. Namely, to use a large, single sensor 4K imager. But I should explain how. The secret is an internal expansion lens behind the B4 lens mount. Right where the prism block would go in a three-chip camera. The two-thirds inch image circle gets expanded to fit a larger image circle on the surface of the larger image sensor. In our first design, the imager is one inch. With the large single sensor, each pixel can be much bigger than a 4K resolution two-thirds inch sensor would have. We have named the approach LaSeal technology, and that stands for Large Single Sensor and Internal Expansion Lens. With a single sensor system, a Bayer patterned color filter is used to create a color signal. This method has been widely used for movie production cameras, so I want you to study it once. Using LaSeal technology, we solve the problems associated with small photosites. The total light energy received by the sensor is the same, so the sensitivity of the camera is the same. But the problems of reduced dynamic range and small aperture defocusing are improved. If you're like me, you're probably wondering if there are any new issues raised by such a fundamental change to the optical architecture. Check out the next section, and I'll address some concerns I had when first introduced to the Lucille concept and see why we've been so happy with the results so far. Please, have a look. This is Mike. See you next time. Panasonic.